Hello everyone and welcome to Sawyer's What A Wednesday. We are going to show you what he ate today. Today is going to be his dinner version. Come on. Last week we did his breakfast version and the video got a little bit long. So today we're going to do his dinner version. We're going to show you what he eats for dinner. So we're going to take him in the house and let's get started. Come on. Let's get the food bowls. Okay. You tired? By the way, Sawyer, all the dogs get fed twice a day, usually about 11 a.m. and around 7 p.m. I think it's about six o'clock now. Hey, what's up? So it's actually only about six o'clock right now. So yeah, we don't have a we don't have a schedule set in stone. So it's around 11 and seven, but it could be six and it could be 7.30 or eight o'clock. It just depends. Okay, so the base of Sawyer's dinner is going to be his dry food, but we're running a little low, so I'm going to fill this up in the basement and I'm going to show you guys what dry food he eats. Quincy follows me down here every time because we generally feed the cat down here. And Sawyer is afraid of the basement stairs, so he never comes down here. We got some like extra treats down here too, a bunch of extra stuff, extra toys, because you know, you gotta have a stocked pantry of stuff and stuff for your dogs. Okay, so this is what Sawyer eats. This is the Holistic Health Extension, grain-free, and he eats the buffalo and whitefish recipe. So this is like a 23 and a half pound bag. I think it's around $50 now, and it goes up by the week. You guys know what I'm talking about. So we got really good ingredients. It's grain and gluten-free, wheat-free, all this free, soy-free, 25% protein. Okay, buddy, let's go. Mr. Scaredy Cat at the top of the stairs. So we're gonna do a little over a third of a cup of dry food. So I'll also usually always add a tablespoon or so of canned food and we just got our Chewy order. I can't find an orange knife, so I'm gonna use this. So Chewy's really convenient. I really like them a lot, especially for the big bags of dog food that I'm getting sick of carrying. But I also do really like to support my local, um, oops. <laughs> but I also really do like to support my local feed store and I definitely will get uh, these usually there and these, but I was like, all right, let's just, let's just put in the whole big order there. Mm -hmm. I know. Ta -da. But like I said, Sawyer's not getting that tonight. That's just going to be for Shiloh. So let me show you what we're going to do for Sawyer. I really like to give my dogs a variety of food at every meal. And because I have three, they all get a little bit different tweaks depending on their age, their health, their, you know, breed and lots of other little factors. For example, like I always say, Shiloh is 14. She's missing a few teeth. So she, the base of her meals is always the canned food. And Quincy, I don't have him on kibble at all because I've just had too much experience with very small dogs having bad teeth and now he's six and he has amazing teeth because I have not had him on kibble. Mr. Sawyer is going to get kind of, he's our like, he's our more mixed bag where he gets a little bit of everything. And because he is bigger, I really do kind of feel like I have to give him a base of something a bit more filling. But like I said, we've got to have variety. So, and and real food. I, I know that people say, oh, you can't give your dog people food, which that's a whole nother topic we're gonna make a video on. But it's so crazy to me because it is just real food before we got the commercial dog food companies to take over. But we're not gonna talk about that for right now. I'm just gonna show you what his dinner is going to be. So, so yeah, in the fridge, we've got some of this grass-fed ground beef defrosted. Let's start there. Last night, I cooked up some peas with dinner and then I always make some extra because I do like to put it in the dog's food. So let's add that. 
also have this organic celery that I bought that is looking just a little, you know, not perfect anymore. It's still nice and crunchy. So we're gonna, we're gonna take some, some of that. Ooh, I didn't even realize I already had one open. Oh well. Okay, so let's get some of this celery chopped up. I don't have to go crazy doing it small. You know, they can handle it. Sorry, I'm a lefty. Just realized you can't really see that. There we go. Now Sawyer does have a tendency to sometimes spit out vegetables. And quite honestly, I don't blame him. Vegetables aren't the most delicious thing in the world. Not in my opinion, anyway. <laughs> we tolerate them because they're healthy. Okay, but Quincy is obsessed with any kind of vegetable, really any kind of thing that's edible, and even some things that are not. So we'll give him, oops, the strings. Yeah, we'll give him that. And I'm just, I'm just gonna do three pieces. It's three pieces, okay? But of course, I can tell you what he is gonna love, and that is this grass-fed ground beef. Yes, I do just give it to them raw. It's totally fine. A dog's digestive system can handle raw, no problem. I get from my local farmer out here on Long Island. This is from Akabanak Farms in Amagansett, New York, if anybody wants to know. Do you want to know? And, oh, <laughs> bless you. And you can, you can order this online, so I just, I love to support local farmers when I can and really know where our food comes from, so. So we're just gonna take off some hunks and spread it around to make everything taste so much better. And of course, everybody gets some of this. It's really healthy for Shiloh because she needs to put on a little bit of weight. And of course, Quincy is gonna get some as well. Okay. And now we've got the peas for Sawyer and everyone. Since this is just going to be for the dogs, we don't mind using the spoon with the dog food. So hopefully my family members don't get any surprises. Oops. So I'll give them about a scoop. It's about a tablespoon, you know. Some for him. Um, for Shiloh. Okay. Okay, so I think this is looking pretty darn good, but we can still do a little bit better. So I'm going to add one more thing to the top of this. Doesn't that sound exciting? I just went to the feed store. Like I said, I do like to support them to get what? <laughs> Crickets for my daughter's reptile. It's another story, another creature we have to feed. And so I picked up these meal mixers, dandy lamb. I usually get the lamb patties, but they didn't have any. So all the ingredients are the same on these and these are just soft little nuggets. I'll show you guys the texture of them. Go over this if you'd like to know. The ingredients here are really good, says Sawyer. They're lamb, lamb spleen, lamb liver, lamb heart, lamb kidney, lamb bone, a lot of lamb, pumpkin seed, organic cranberries, organic, spinach, organic broccoli, organic beets, organic carrots, organic squash, organic blueberries, just so many good ingredients. Again, this is a raw food. So if you want to feed your dog raw and you don't want the mess of like the frozen raw or like, yeah, messy stuff, this is good because it's a shelf stable raw. It's really good. Or even if you're traveling or if you're on the road, this would be a really great thing to take. Of course it is pricey. It's $35.99 for this bag and this is what is this 18 ounces yeah so you know so yeah take that into consideration especially depending on the size of your dog how expensive that could be or maybe you just want to use it as a top or maybe you have a fussy eater so you want to crumble a little bit on this I've found that dogs really love this really love this who knocked down this towel here are our little nuggets. That's what they look like. Yeah, the patties are like a hockey puck size. They're about this big. And maybe that makes it easier if you have a big dog that you are exclusively feeding this or a medium-sized dog. 
and you need to know how many patties to feed and you're somebody who likes to really measure maybe that's better for you but i kind of like these little nuggets i think they're good by the way you do have to make sure that you are adding water to this or you have a moist food so you don't choke your dog out because that's never a good thing so we're gonna crumble like three or four of these on top of Sawyer's meal because that looks super tasty I'm so sorry because obviously somebody is out there with garden tools now because I'm making a video Okay guys, so I'm gonna recap for you what Sawyer ate on this Wednesday. He's got his dry food that he started with. He's got a couple of scoops of this canned food. He's got some raw grass-fed ground beef, some organic peas, a little bit of celery, and some of the meal mixers to top it off with. Okay, but actually I did say that I was gonna add a little bit of water. I mean, the meat has moisture, but we're gonna add just a little smidge of water on top of that, um, on top of this. Okay, so that's looking good. And really quick, before I put their food down, let's talk about the importance of a really clean water supply. I use filtered water for the dogs because the water supply is just so contaminated. There's benzene, chlorine, a lot of chemicals, a lot of pharmaceutical drugs in the water now. So you really wanna give your dog the best water that you can. Even if you wanna just get one of those Brita pitchers, really you need some kind of filtration for your dog's water. That's so important. Oh, so this is an RO filter, a reverse osmosis filter. I got this from, it's called freedrinkingwater.com. <laughs> they really get you with the title because it wasn't free, but okay. And he has been so super patient. Let's give it to him. Okay, buddy, here you go. Sit. There you go. Hey, who's up next? Shiloh. Not you, Quincy. Not Shiloh. And Quincy, our patient little Quincy. So as I always like to tell you guys, everybody eats in the kitchen. Nobody goes in separate rooms. We're not playing that game. Everybody has to be well behaved. And are you okay? See, he's eating the celery. He, he literally goes for the celery first. It's very unusual for a dog. But yes, everybody knows their own little corner. They know their feeding order. It's always Sawyer first then Shiloh, then Quincy. And so they, you know, so I keep the feeding order always the same. And Quincy likes to walk around with his food. Yeah, see, Sawyer is such a polite little eater. He doesn't just scarf it down. He eats very nicely. I know who does scarf it down though, because Quincy's always the last one fed and the first one finished. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing what Sawyer ate on this Wednesday for his dinner. Let us know what your dog eats, what you feed your dog. I know everybody has lots of different opinions and ideas and different needs for their dogs. And some people have really fussy dogs. Personally, I've never had a fussy dog. Yeah, I've never had a fussy dog. I mean, some like to eat more than others. But then again, I guess they're eating pretty good. So what do they have to be fussy about? Everybody's done? Why don't we all go outside? Come on, Sawyer. Here's another one that needs to be fed.